Hi everyone and welcome back to the Warno June monthly tournament. We are in round four, which is the final round for this tournament. Today we're watching a wooden box versus Hippie. A wooden box playing as the 8th infantry on the right in red and Hippie playing as the 5th panzer division on the left in blue. Now these two players, both British, so it's a right old British standoff, but this should be a really good game. They always have some interesting tactics to show off. And I'm curious how they play this map. Are we going to see, much like we did with the other two players, a heavy focus on Alpha? Or will we see a lot of fighting in Echo as well? Right at the get-go, we see plenty of Jaeger Alphacol coming in. We also see some Cobras coming in there for a wooden box, making use of those early choppers. We'll certainly do some damage here. However, we do see Hippie coming in with an F4F anti-air jet straight away as well. So he will be aiming to take out those Cobras. There are some stingers coming in, but there aren't any other anti-air units on the field right now. Obviously, over here, we do see there are a few anti-air units coming in for Hippie, though. These are those little vehicles towing a uh, little anti-air gun. Cobra's doing a good job there, cleaning up very early in Alpha. One of them stunned and damaged by that jet. That one is dead. The Lux has finished it off. This one is probably going... Oh no, the anti-air chopper has veered off. Is going for the Alpha jet. HE bomber has killed it. But in fairness, a wooden box's Cobras have done their job. They have killed that early push. Which means that a wooden box has the majority of forces in these points now. Force is in his favour. There is this anti-air unit here now, though, so he will need to be careful with that remaining Cobra. Probably wants to pull that back and repair it. Abrams coming in for a wooden box now and a command coming in there, though there are still two commands in for Hippie, which he bought early on. AA Jet has taken out the other chopper. However, it has been killed by the F-16C cluster. AT Jet coming in there, though, to deal with that Abrams, most likely. Cluster Bomber has... Dropped back here. Didn't kill anything though, I don't think. Anti-air jet spinning around there. I'm not sure what it's going for, if anything. It's taking fire from those stingers. I think it was brought in to deal with that tank, but it probably became hidden in the forest. I need a player with a lot of units left on the field. It's mainly these Marders right now that will be causing some issues for a wooden box until this M1 Abrams arrives. In terms of what else is going on on the field, no one with any units around the back. Both with scouts here facing down against each other. And up here, it's scouts for a wooden box and an anti-air unit for Hippie. A couple of Leopard 1F5s here, which will be causing issues. I'm sure that Abrams will die to two Leopards. The leopards not taking too much fire. Those Jaeger Alphacol could actually be in trouble here. They're taking a lot of fire from those tanks and the other Jaeger Alphacol. So Hippie may take Echo. There are some reinforcements heading that way. But right now, it does feel as though a wooden box has more control over Alpha. Though there are plenty of reinforcements coming in for Hippie there. Weirdly zooming out, I mean, there are reinforcements being called in for a wooden box now. It did feel as though, for some reason, there was a lot more coming in for Hippie. But perhaps a wooden box was just a little bit late calling stuff in. He will be bringing in a repair truck to repair that tank. It could also do with keeping those Jaeger Alphacol back or even turning off the weapons. Bradley coming in there, that will be very handy as it can obviously hit these tanks with its missiles. Though he wants to be careful how close it gets because soon it will be in range. It's just outside the range of those tanks, I think. That one may be able to shoot it. Not a lot down here, to be honest, but it's enough without that tank at the front to take out these vehicles. And that tank should technically make short work of these Marders if it was up here. But as it stands, there's going to be reinforcements there for Hippie sooner rather than later. Mech rifles coming in, that will be handy. It'll be even better if you could get them into these buildings here to shoot across at those tanks. Another command coming in. It's still plus three for Hippie. He is ahead in points, but that means nothing at this stage of the game. 34 minutes left to go. Another Bradley coming in there. Some Stingers coming in at the bottom. 
Honestly, you know, there has been a little bit of aircraft use by Hippie, but I'd be more concerned about bringing in more ground stuff, because Hippie's bringing in a lot of ground stuff. Look at all those issuings. Hippie's obviously happy that he's semi in control of that point and just sitting pretty now. Down here, though, he needs to get more units in, and he is calling in a lot. There are reinforcements arriving for a wooden box as well, including a command vehicle there. Also a command up here, so he will now neutralize and then overtake. Stinger's coming in at the top as well. A Tor 2 coming in, that's a good choice for dealing with these tanks. My concern is what's going on down here, though. I think these Jaeger Alphacol are out of missiles, but... Really, for me, a wooden box needs something longer range. That tank's at massive risk from getting hit in the side by missiles, to me. Lots and lots of these little anti-aircraft guns being brought in by Hippie this game. That is the Abrams taking shots at that one. Not doing a huge amount of damage to it. Tornado IDS cluster coming in there, going for this top area possibly. Yes. We'll kill the dragon, but the scouts will survive. Yeah, there it goes. That tank is taking an awful long time to kill that anti-air gun. Pretty sure that anti-air gun should die faster to a tank shell. I think that's a little bit of balancing perhaps. It's maybe deliberately done that way so that they don't instantly get popped like a vehicle would. Certainly overwhelming force appears to be with a wooden box here. Anti-air jet coming in there. Going for that Cobra I assume. AA jet will take fire but not enough I'm sure. And there is no anti-air jet coming in for a wooden box to take it out. So he will get out mostly unscathed. Jaeger pushing up in the open here will take fire from that anti-air cannon. Leopard 2 with 3 there has... Oh, there's another Abrams there. Has it killed one though? No, I think that Abrams just moved. I'd be concerned about that 2A3. Really, I'd like to see a wooden box bring in some kind of anti-tank jet. Though he does need to be careful because there's a lot of anti-air guns there. These tanks being repaired and rearmed. Some reinforcements coming in at the top there. More Abrams coming in at the bottom by the looks of it. Command coming in for the bottom here. Command coming in for the top. So that Hippie can keep ahead in points. It's an ongoing struggle for this bottom point once more. I suspect because of the size of it more than anything else. It does seem to have become the big battleground in these games. Marder's pushing up there against these infantry. Really, you could do with a tank here, but obviously any tanks that were in here would have been subject to the Leopard 2A3 melting them. And the tank jet coming in has taken out that uh, Abrams. Hippie has the upper hand in terms of playstyle right now, I think. Just seems to be getting the right kills at the right time. Macrifle's commander coming in there to go into this point, I'm sure. Lots more reinforcements coming in down here. But you will notice that a wooden box's forces are sort of being whittled down by Hippie. Little command sat in that point there. Yeah, Kull are dead. Abrams is coming in this way, though, to provide support, but really those Jaeger Alphacol are going to melt these stingers. Alphacolara in helicopters heading around the back there. Now, either these stingers are going to do an amazing job and wipe them out before they get over there, or the stingers are going to kill them on top of themselves and die miserably because they will explode and instantly teleport the Alphacolara to the ground. Uh, Abrams chugging away there. Ihawks coming in and some Jaeger Ihawks. It's about time for some proper anti-air there. But too little, too late perhaps. Look at Hippie here rampaging through with all these units. One Alf Clara is indeed dead. The other Alf Clara are round the back now. 
This mech rifle's commander, I assume, going to run into this corner. More reinforcement being called in there for Hippie. Those have Clara. We'll be intending to get around the back and kill that CV, I'm sure. Yep, there it is. Being moved by a wooden box to a more secure location. Bradley there, getting some shots on that Leopard 2A3. It is dead, but it has done significant damage to Leo 2A3. Again, this is where we need to see. Yeah, there we go. A cluster bomber coming in. It should be able to kill. Oh, the tank's dead. The Jaeger got it. Look at the Jaeger go. Well done. Cluster bomber came in there and hit that Abrams. It is badly damaged and needs to retreat. But cluster wasn't needed in the end, though there is another 2A3 coming in. Cluster still on field. Obviously hasn't taken much damage. Where's this cluster going? Can he see that Leopard 2A3 coming in? I mean, risky business going for it, because there is... Is there any anti-air left there? I actually don't think there is any anti-air left there. I think he could go for that. Hippie was without anti-air. Other than the jet, which keeps coming in, it's just gone out to rearm. So, right now... <laughs> A wooden box could be making use of that. He is. He's going for the kill on that Leo 2A3. It is moving, so it depends how he's targeted it. Did it... I don't think it dropped. Must have gone out of view. Tampella's being used by Hippie. He does like using his mortars. They never seem to do very much, but he does like using them. Keep an eye on them and see if they do, do any damage to these guys in the building there. That Abrams is going to get absolutely smashed by that Leo 2 or 3. It needs to be just retreated back. You might as well save it. Those Alf Clara will pose a significant threat to both this command and the command infantry there. I mean, this game could still go either way. Lots of anti-air in here now for a wooden box. He is prepared for any more flybys. These Jaeger Alfkull are going to mince these stingers, though. I'm really surprised that uh, a wooden box hasn't tried to put some more infantry down there. Commiserations. I mean, the, the Abrams will get some shots off on these guys, but here it comes. Leo 2A3 is going to absolutely mangle that thing. There's a retreat from a wooden box. He knows what's coming. He needs the reinforcements there, because that tank might just push now. Really needed some infantry down here. Really needed some infantry. But the beauty of the fact we can see the entire map, we know that. Poor wooden box doesn't. Now, considering at the start of the game, it looked like Hippie had a significant control up here. Uh, it's kind of half and half again now, isn't it? A wooden box has a good spread of units. There are a lot of units building up here for Hippie, though. He's maybe going to do a push at some point. Cluster coming in to take out that tank. That was a miss. It's unfortunate. HE Alpha Jet. I'm going to go for these Jaeger Alpha Don't know whether it'll hit the right building, though. Might get lucky. Oh, unlucky. AA Jet coming in. Will it get any kills? It got the kill after it died itself. That's quite sad for the HE plane, because the <laughs> it was already dead. Hmm. Alf Clara making slow progress around the back there. I'm struggling. I feel as though right now Hippie has more in the field. He needs to find a way to kill that leopard. I mean, there will come a point soon where Hippie is going to feel confident enough to do a push here. Two Abrams coming in, which will be helpful. Here's the push at the bottom. That Bradley's about to die to this Leo. Once that tank gun's in range. Ready for the pop. Or not. Bradley's retreating. Good, a wooden box. You're paying attention. Plenty of infantry coming in there. Heimatsuchen, though. Not the best infantry. Along with an M1A1 Abrams, which will be useful. He will need that against this Leopard 2A3. He is pushing down the two M1s as well. I mean, if he could get a good side shot on that tank. 
But the looks will probably spot them before. Oh, if that Bradley was round here and just got the, a missile shot on it. Oh, so close. Push those up, push those up, push those up. That tank is so badly damaged. Yes, go, 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 a wooden box. I'm getting excited. I feel like a wooden box is on the back foot right now. And I always like to uh, rally for the underdog. Bit of movement up there. I'm just trying to keep an eye on what Hippie's doing. This Leo has to die. Yes, there it goes. Oh, that M1 got shot in front armour, though. Heimatsuchin. Still on their way in. Cobra at the top there. But this is stalemated with 23 minutes left to go. Sooner or later, someone's going to make a push. I'd say right now it feels like Hippie is going to be the one to make a push. And I think he could make a push both at the bottom and the top at the same time and really throw a wooden box off. I mean, a wooden box really, 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 really needs supply trucks in to repair these tanks and stuff. Loads of Panzer Grenadiers coming in down there. More mortars. This push is moving up here against all these infantry. The Abrams will do a good job of fire support, but it's on its own there. Another one coming in now. Abrams have the potential to do a lot of damage, but obviously that's a dead tank. Another Leo 1A5. Now, he should outnumber that because he's got more Abrams, so he should be able to kill that, but... I'm not sure he realises. Anti-air jet came... Or anti-tank jet came in there. Don't think it got its kill. Took fire from those guys. But there are missiles now. Because there isn't enough supply up here. This is a wooden box's big issue right now. And there's Hippie pushing at the top as well. At the same time as I expected. There he goes. Pushing against very little there to be honest. He's going to push through at the top. The only chance now is that a wooden box can use these three tanks and these Heimatsuchin to push this way and kill this command. He needs to be aggressive here. Cluster bombers in. HE bomber coming in as well. MW1 coming in there. I think it's being used more for anti-air than it is for anything else right now. Nice strike. Don't know if it killed anything. These Abrams are all stacked right on top of each other. He really needs to spread them out a little bit. It's very risky to have them all on top of each other because if a cluster bomber comes in. But really good push. Heimatsuchin pushing as well. He needs to do something at this side though. That poor Abrams is very low on machine gun ammo. And that happens a lot in this game. 1-0, they seem to run out of machine gun ammo very quickly. Another tank coming in which is really good. And Bradley down there, taking out those Alf Clara that were trying to get around the back. He's an MW1 and an AT, and there's one tank dead, and the MW1 is going to kill some of those infantry. Yeah, did a lot of damage. That Abrams should be able to get in here and finish off that command, though. There it goes. That will die. Beautiful. That is dead itself to the Leopard, but it's done its job. He needs to kill that Marder now. No, he went for something at the back. Maybe he can't see the martyr. Oh no, it's just behind the smoke. He should win out against that Leo. There it goes. And he should eventually kill that martyr as well. He's lost a lot of tanks down here. And at the top, Hibby's kind of secured that area. Still commanding for a wooden box. Those Alf Clara are still hidden at the back there. Plenty of Abrams coming in here though. He should be able to retain security on that point i actually think now this is swung hippie's big push at the bottom here has failed he does have a couple of units still up here but it's two milans so yes it's going to be great against vehicles but uh, at the end of the day infantry will slaughter him and the uh, pantagranian martyrs are only a small squad heimatsuchin here 
again need repair he there is a supply truck coming in i really wish i was seeing more supply from Warden box during this game that's the one thing that i feel he's been missing like tanks have gone without repair and resupply his anti-air units have gone without resupply and i think it's you know there's a couple of times it's maybe cost him some units Leo 105 command tank will be coming in for alpha i'm sure up at the top here, those Alfclara are about to meet their match with running into all of these mech rifles. Uh, there's two Abrams in here now. Three Abrams in total, and a Toto at the bottom. I mean, there's nothing in here. Uh, a wooden box doesn't realise it, but he could push and absolutely mince Echo as well. And then he could be very aggressive and push through to Delta. He'd probably have a slightly harder time. Even then, he could probably push here as well. I really think that Hippie's in trouble now. Really good effort on pushing both places at once, but unfortunately, it's failed. A wooden box just held. If he pushes the top now, Hippie's done. 18 minutes to go, and a wooden box doesn't realise it, but he could end it right now. He's got enough heavy armour here to just march through this point. He's got four tanks in total. If you march these three across here, kill that. Use this one to fire support for when the Marders pop out to try and take shots at these guys. Again, he won't know they're there. He won't know what is there. That Leo 2A, sorry, that Leo 1A5 is uh, going to die pretty quickly. The 2A3 will cause more of an issue, but there are two tow 2 launchers coming in. I don't know where they're going to sit. That thing is out of missiles, so it's useless. Bradley there giving good cover. There's a Roland 2 down there, but that's nothing too exciting. They have Clara around here, are a little bit annoying, but that dragon is going to spot them. Question is, what is the plan from a wooden box here? He can't just sit forever. If he sits for long enough, then Hippie is going to rebuild forces. Cluster Bomber coming in is going for that corner. Did drop. Killed something, but didn't kill a uh, command tank. Almost killed a command tank, though. Lux is dead to one of those Ho 2 launches. Some mortars coming in there for Odin Box. Is he running out of units? It seems like an odd thing, but maybe it's to provide smoke for covering fire if he's gone the move. Really, really want to see a wooden box do a push at the top. He can't just sit for another 17 minutes. Hippie's already ahead. He has to push somewhere. Toe 2 launches being used to good effect against these tanks here. Has forced the 2A3 to pop its smoke. Needs to be careful with that. A side shot on that would pop it. Supply in there, some more supply coming in, hallelujah, a wooden box, nice to see you bringing in some supply, and another one coming in, what is with all these mortars, what are you doing, this is, is this truly a I've run out of units situation, rangers coming in there, we're going to see a push at the top here, a wooden box pushing across here, he needs to use the tank's fire support though, the tank is, is that tank facing the wrong way, no it just looked like it was, Bradley coming in as well. There's the Marders moving up to wipe out the infantry. HE Jet coming in there. Not sure what it's going for, if anything. Oh, he's going for Alouette, but he's going to be hit by the Roland 2. Two Roland 2s now. And there it is, dead. It's a bit of a waste. I mean, he killed the chopper, but not sure that was worth it. Tampella? I don't know. Moving out into an open field, perhaps. Mortars being used to potentially cause panic and cause issues for reinforcements. Do have a chance, obviously, to kill the supply trucks coming in. Tortoos are in a nice position there. Very good range. Could do with a bit more line of sight, if anything. More recon. More recon. AT jet up here was going for that Abrams. The Abrams are going to take fire, however, from the Milans anyway. 
That's smoked. Mech rifles are getting minced by those martyrs. Cluster bomber coming in. Didn't drop though. I never trust those. Uh, at least I don't think it dropped. I never trust the F 16C clusters. I really don't. I always feel as though sometimes they don't drop when they come in. I don't know if that's a bug or it's just because of how someone's targeting them, but they seem to not drop a lot compared to other bombers. So right now, massive overwhelming force down here for a wooden box. Up here, Hippie still now has the upper hand again because of a wooden box's lack of pushing with all of his tanks at the bottom. If he pushed with all these tanks, he'd have taken this point already. Good defensive line here, really good positioning on those Tortues, as I say. Bradley doing a good job at killing some Panzer Grenadiers there. However, just dropping mortars on here is not the be-all and end-all. He needs to get in there. He's going to do minimal damage to that tank. He's going to take a pip off it at a time. He's killed it, though. Eventually, with enough mortars and top armor hits, he has killed it. I mean, how many mortars does he have there, though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is that? I think that's eight mortars. Eight mortars will eventually kill a tank. There you go. Plus two currently to a wooden box with 13 minutes to go. I mean, Hippie still won this. If he can just neutralize again. He's still well ahead in points. Are we finally going to see some movement down here? I mean, there's nothing there. There's nothing there, a wooden box. Ranger's got round the back there. Alpha Clara still sat around the back here. Loads of reinforcements coming in down here. I mean, these martyrs are very good. They're great at mincing infantry, especially in the current patch, because uh, obviously autocannons are very good. Waiting to see what's happening up here. There's some artillery pieces in now. Very nice. Not something we see very often. Are they doing any damage? Well, the Milans are running away. The command's just kind of sat. Have you seen the size of the explosions? And yet... The blast radius on them is, like, tiny. I mean, I can't really... I mean, I really... I don't know if a wooden box is buying all these because he's just out of other units to call in. I'm really not sure. Loads of mortars firing over here again. There's a commander coming in. Is he dropping those on the commander? Is he dropping them on the Roland? It's really hard to tell. I think he's going for the commander. He obviously saw it coming in. None of them are going anywhere near the commander. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what was happening there. I think maybe trying to hit these things that were coming in. See, once again, a wooden box... Doing such an amazing job. He killed so many of Hippie's units. But he's left it and left it and left it and left it. And didn't push. And now Hippie's built back up forces everywhere. And it'll be much harder for him to push. A wooden box. You need to be more aggressive. Sometimes in these games. Just that little bit more aggressive. I mean you could still hold. But all Hippie has to technically do is hold. He doesn't need to push now. He just needs to sit and wait for this to end and keep a command in. And a wooden box will use these mortars and these artillery pieces to try and kill those commands. He's trying to kill the one at the top now. Look at all of these units. There's now a Leo 2A3 there helping defend. I mean, you still kill it. You got more than enough forces to kill that 2A3. More than enough. 
You must be going to do a push. He must be. Because he's softening up this entire tree line. That's smoke. He's smoking it. So he must be going to push. Here we go. We're seeing infantry move. Tanks need to take it slowly. Let the infantry go first. Take the shot. Show where everything is. Come on, you can do this, a wooden box. You have the forces. Sadly, I don't think you could potentially... I think you'd struggle to push that bottom corner now. Another 2A3 coming in there. Loads more infantry and more leopards coming in as well. Here comes the push. And a charge by the Jaegers. That's a bit risky. Yeah, I was going to say, they're going to die really quickly because the Leo's going to pick them off. There's another one gone. I think he just got his uh, Jaegers out in time there. One tank dead. The other one has arrived, though. And he should have enough Abrams to kill this pretty quickly. AT jets coming in, though. Finishing off at least one of those tanks. There's one Abrams left. Three Abrams here that weren't in this fight. Come on, a wooden box. They should have been in there, man. Leo 203 takes out another tank. Another commander coming in to recap this point. Eight minutes to go. Leo still alive. Zishirung's coming in. Down at the bottom. No movement. Zishirung's coming in. We'll be going into here, I imagine, and trying to take on those Jaeger. There are a lot of infantry here. Cobra's in, trying to kill those Jaeger Alphacol. Infantry commander running up to the back there. Milan's taking fire from the Abrams. He needs to find and kill that commander. This Jaeger commander just sitting pretty in this forest. A little bit further forward than uh, a wooden box thinks they are. Seven minutes to go. Come on, a wooden box. You should take this easily now. You should be able to kill that. There are loads of tanks coming in. They're going to get side shots. That's a lot of fire support. He has lost one of them, though. I think or one's taken damage. Tornado IDS cluster coming in there. Leo 1A1A1A1s. Many 1A1A1s. Getting plenty of shots off. What is this cluster doing? I think it was trying... Oh, I was killing the... Chopper, I think. Nice cluster drop. Finally dropped and did a lot of panic damage. Routed. One's dead. Another one's still alive. The command is dead. Down here, finally we're seeing a push from a wooden box down here as well. Looks like all the Marders are dead. Just the Panzer Grenadier is there. And that Jaeger Alphacol Commander surely going to take fire. Its launcher is turned on, but not the actual rifle. Game to a wooden box now, surely. That is, that is game. I genuinely thought a wooden box wasn't going to push. I thought it was just going to go to Hippie. Thank God he finally pushed. It's a jet going down. There we go. Command is getting shot now. He should die very quickly. There he goes. One pip left. Getting fired up by everything. There he goes. Five minutes left in this game. Will now be plus four to a wooden box. And now if he pushes hard, which he should, he can go straight into Bravo. More difficult up here because there's tanks in the way, but he can certainly keep pushing here. And he needs to, quickly. Because at the moment, Hippie's still technically ahead. A wooden box would take over now, though, by 40-minute mark. Five minutes left to go. There is another command coming in for Hippie, so he's not out of commands. That would be the concern at this stage of the game, if you've lost a lot, is that you don't have any more to call in. These Alf Clara were thinking about pushing up that way and trying to kill the CV, I think. 
Five minutes left. Good push going here by Hippie. Though he's up against plenty of Abrams. He has a chance to do some damage though. One's dead. This one's alive. We'll probably take fire from the Panzerforsts here. From the Jaeger. And a side shot potentially. Yep. Dead. Side shot. Okay, Hippie's not getting back in that point. He's not going to get into this one. I don't think a wooden box is going to push. I think he's just going to sit and hold. Very defensive player, wooden box, in this game. More so than I expected. I thought he'd be a little bit more aggressive. There were a couple of points where he could have just swung through and ended this game 10, 15 minutes ago. But a uh, little, little bit standoffish. Hippie, the one more on the aggressive side the entire game. And the silly thing was, I suppose, that Hippie didn't necessarily need to be the aggressive one a lot of the time. As he was ahead in points, so he could have just held. Could have just held, but I guess he wanted to end it. Still fighting Hippie there. Bringing in another 2A3. There's another 2A3 there getting repaired on need to repair. There's the surrender. Commiserations, Hippie, very, very well fought, but a wooden box, obviously, hands down. I mean, you did it in the end, as much as I may complain that you weren't aggressive enough. You did a fantastic job. I mean, look at the kills to losses. A wooden box just played it very well, held off and defended against that big push from Hippie, and then sat for a while, and then eventually did push, and did a lot of damage. But commiserations, Hippie, well played. Really good game, guys. It was a bit of action all the way through that for the most part, so that was quite an enjoyable one to cast. Cobra being really good there. Jaeger Alfkull, F16 Cluster did get a few kills. Abrams, Stingers, Abrams doing really well, obviously. Bradley always doing well. Totus did okay, and again, Abrams doing well there. And on the other side, the F4F Anti-Tank got quite a few kills in the end. Leo 2 f 3 did okay. But certainly you can see what was getting the kills for a wooden box there. Well done guys. Thanks everyone for watching. Please stay tuned tomorrow to the channel. We will be having our second game with these two in the final round. And then also tomorrow evening, Tuesday evening, there will be a live cast is the current plan of the final match for the June tournament on the SD League Twitch channel. That will be a best of one match to settle who is going to be the overall winner of that so please stay tuned to sd league's twitch for that tomorrow evening thanks for watching everyone i'll see you all soon